In lesson 12, we're going to localize a WPF application and an ASP.NET program in C-sharp. We're going to talk about why it's important to localize an application, and then we're going to create a, a WPF project and localize it using resource files, and then we're going to create an ASP.NET website and localize it using resource files. In part one, I'm going to tell you about why we should localize our applications that we program. So the first reason that I think it's important to, to localize is that you can uh, write your program one time, and then if you're an American company or a German company or a Chinese company, you can, if, it, if your program supports localization, then you can easily uh, install it and deploy it into, into a different country. And if you look at the tables at the bottom of the slide, you see you know German, Chinese, and English. You know they all have different uh, date formats. They have different uh, financial uh, currency values uh, configurations, and of course we all have different languages. And second, it's relatively easy to to design your program to be localized. Uh, but it, but it does ha have a cost, and so you need to be aware of that before you you decide to localize your program. As well, like I mentioned in my first point, uh, the third point is just basically if you create a program that you want to sell as a company, uh, you want to sell it uh, as many times as you possibly can, because we're in business to 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 make money, right? And so what localization does is it opens markets for you. Uh, if, you're, if you write your program in English uh, and you get a, a, a customer uh, who is interested in your, in your product in France, you know, they would probably want it to be written in, in French. And so if you have designed and created your application to support localization, then, it's, then you have a higher degree of probability of selling uh, your software program in France if you can uh, easily and quickly you know localize your your application in, into French or into German or, or, in, or into Italian or Portuguese. In part two we're going to create a, a WPF project and localize it using resource files. We're going to create a new WPF project. We're going to add three resource files one for English, one for German, and one for Chinese. We're going to modify the window a XAML file. We're going to add and modify an app config file for the runtime culture retrieval. And then we're going to modify the c -sharp code behind to load the culture. So for this example, we're going to use Visual Studio 2 2010. It supports uh, .NET 4.0. So let's start by creating a new project. Let's create a WPF application and, and, and let's call it WPF localize. So we're going to use a theme in this example. I like this expression dark uh, theme. Uh, so I downloaded this from uh, the internet. You can find it. Just search for expression dark. So you just add it to your to your project, and then open cl oh, uh, double click your your app XAML, and then cut and paste this into your in, into the file, and then close it and save it. So I modified the XAML quickly to set the background to be black. The height and the width I modified, and I set the window startup location to be center screen. So let's add an app config file to our project. New item. And scroll down till we find application config file. Let's name, make sure it's app app.config, and then add. And let's add this value, the app settings culture, and we're going to set it to uh, Chinese. 
save it and close it. So now let's go add our three resource files. Right click, add new item. Let's scroll down, resource file. Let's name it resources and this, let's create the English one one first, en dash us. And there it is. And let's drag, let's click on it and drag and drop it and put it into our, our properties folder. So create your your uh, English resource file so so that it looks like this, and then save it. Extremely important, and this has this caused me a little bit of a, a trouble, uh, and a couple of hours of saying why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Click here the access modifier, make that public. So let's close this down, and let's add our German one. Add new item. Resource file. Make sure you put the S there. Resources.de dash de. So modify your, your uh, uh, German resource file to look like this. Save it. Don't forget, make it public. So let's close this one down and let's add our Chinese add new item resource file make it resources dot zh dash c n and while we're here let's go and drag and drop these guys and put them into the properties directory And for the Chinese language, make it look like this. Save it. Don't forget to make it public. Very important. And really, I just went to like Bing or to the Google Translator and translated this. So it's important that we modify our default resources file. We'll make it English. And let's uh, uh, make it look like this. So let's uh, save it, and then don't forget to make it public. Very important to make it public. And let's go into our code behind. Let's add these two namespaces. And as well, let's add reference. Add reference. .net. And let's add the system.configuration. Lastly, in our main window constructor, let's add this line of code. Basically, properties.resources.culture equal new culture. And then we're going to use the value that we put into our app config uh, to set the culture. Uh, you could also put in, in here as a string value, you know, de dash de en dash us or you know any of the different uh, culture types. But instead of hard coding it into the code, I like to put a, put our settings and things uh, into the app config file.